like an iced coffee in the morning. Originally, we were actually going to go to Klein, Klein Carousel, which is a little island just off of here. It would have taken us, what, four hours to sail, you think? Five. Five. But we bailed because a south wind is coming in, and we saw it, but we didn't realize how bad the swell is during that time. So instead, we're going to take it nice and easy and go to Puke Bike. 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 The wind is acting really strange because there's a storm or just I guess a, a little bit of a depression that's clocking the wind. So right now the wind's coming out of the west which it's right on our nose so we have to motor out of here. Since Sersha has an all electric motor, typically we only use the motor in and out of the anchorage. Doing long trips under motor never happened. And rarely do we get the chance to even motor sail. It's a fine balance of how fast we want to get there and using a ball of our power. This is what we like to call the art of electric motor sailing. We do have to say it's pretty nice not to have to burn fuel or money for that matter, but we are burning precious power. And if coffee can't be made in the morning when we arrive, somebody's gonna be pretty grumpy. So we always raise our sails, check to see if we can grab some wind for a little push, and then turn the motor on. After we check course and for an anchorage this close, how far out do we need to go in order to catch wind? With today's wind direction and this current, it means pretty far out, and then we would have to tack, 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 and tack some more to get back into the anchorage. So we headed back towards shore and continued to motor sail. We think our friends Black Moon are out to sailing around. We are not. We're just trying to get there because it's taken us quite a bit, quite a bit of motor power just to get here because of all the current. Even though it is light winds, there's still a one and a half knot current at least pushing against us. So unless we want to take all day and tack, 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 which we really don't. So we're motoring. Well, I think it was a very good decision not to go to, to Klein Carousel because with this wind, we are pretty much on the same tack as we would be. And it would have taken us all day long. Probably would have taken us 24 hours at least. And we would have zero power left. Wow, the water is really pretty right here. Well done. Okay. It was okay, but not very, very fast. No, yeah. Yeah, if we had left earlier, we probably would have been right there with you, but we we're kind of running behind, you know, per usual. Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> you don't really seem to be coming over here. Yeah. I think we'd be fine. The jet skis don't really seem to be coming over here, so I think I'd be fine not having a floaty, but just to be safe, I'm going to bring our orange life vest, life raft, lifesaver? It's a lifesaver. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
out with me when I dived the anchor. We were skipping a little bit when we were trying to set the anchor. So I'm gonna see if what kind of bottom it is, see if it's pure sand or sand over rock. It's definitely grass. Yeah, there's grass for sure. But maybe I can just dig the, the spike in. Out too well. <laughs> it's all rock here. Do you want to? So we're gonna have to move. move. Do you want to scout first? Yeah, I can scout. After the second time, we are finally anchored. The first spot that we picked to anchor, there was, it's like a mix of sand and rock, so our mantis couldn't actually dig in. But this other spots a little bit deeper a little more in the bay it is a nice change of pace it'll be busy tomorrow but the next couple days it'll be nice and quiet not a lot of boats around just our friends basically are the other sailboats here but we're gonna probably invite everybody over have a little barbecue and enjoy the night Later that night, flying ants swarmed the anchorage and rudely canceled our barbecue. This morning, we're off to find some lionfish to hopefully have for our rescheduled barbecue tonight. We did not send out any invites to flying ants or any insects for that matter. This will be a human only party. One thing we love about being in the water is we always seem to see something we haven't before. Like this little staghorn coral nursery. And sometimes something so unique that we don't even know what we're seeing is like spotting a unicorn. After searching, I'm still not sure if this is a pyrosome or a diamondback squid egg case, but they are both pretty rare to find. guy on a sea do and thank you and hopefully we'll bring back some tools and things to be able to fix it or a dinghy to tow, tow us in one of the two but it's a very busy channel and we don't really want to be floating out to it and right now we're tied off to this guy Hello. Woo. Woo. yes first 
first it was the bottom of the boat, now it's the baby motor. But this is an easy fix. I think we're just gonna go ahead and move inside the bay because there's still a lot of traffic coming into the bay. I guess we can just tie off a, to a tree or something, huh? Yeah. Came prepared, huh? Yeah. Like I say, I'm sorry. Look at these guys. That's a water cooled workshop. <laughs> no AC here. <laughs> you will most so likely it. hear me say okay. often how absolutely grateful we are to be surrounded by some of the best humans on the planet. You will struggle to find no one wanting to help you if you needed something. The sailing community is like none other. Give a couple of sailors a toothpick and some duct tape, and they could probably figure out how to build a sailboat. If you don't know how to do something out here, you're gonna figure it out. After a couple of rounds of tightening the tension to the pull cord, Niels and Paul got the outboard running just in time to pick up Bo and Greta, who are still out Yay! chasing down lion fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good work today, team! Good Woo! work, yeah. good work! <laughs> got a lot of fishies. And we got an engine working again. That's good. Let's go right there. Yeah. <laughs> These pants too. Yep. What is it? Let me see. Move your hand. Oh, oh man. It's really hooked in. Got a big one. Three. <laughs> <laughs> you went there. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. Oh, oh you oh. broke it. Oh. And. Oh, there we go. Nope. Nope. Oh, don't get caught in the other one. Yeah. Okay. Ah, thanks. You're free again. Whole bucket of fish that mostly Niels caught. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is the lion slayer. Thank you, Niels. Appreciate welcome, it. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Plus, equally in. Ah, I only caught a few. It was mostly you. But we got to fillet these up and throw them on the barbecue. First, we're gonna cut off the spines, and then we'll pull it. Haircut. <laughs> it's always nice to be able to eat from the ocean, but it's even better when you get to help it at the same time. If you haven't heard, lionfish are venomous creatures that are invasive to our reefs. Since they're not poisonous, they are tasty. These few, they're often forgotten. Ah, uh, yeah, the pectoral one. Yeah, the pectoral fins. So, so this one are good? Yeah, it looks good. Pretty. Okay. Yes? <laughs> You're never safe here, Denise. Yeah. Never safe. <laughs> Among the many of them. And my downside. hair is a little bit messy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We grilled them up on the barbecue. <laughs> Hanging out with our friends on our little phoning home. What is it? Oh, yeah, I don't send that. Yeah. Watching the sky change colors. Grateful for times like these.